how can you prepare to go to a psych ward? So you don't need to be prepared at all because the most important thing is that you're safe, but I'll give you some advice if you want to plan a few steps ahead. When you get to the emergency room, they're going to take away all of your belongings, your clothes, your shoes, socks, everything, and you'll be given these disposable scrubs and grippy socks. From there, they're going to put everything in a locker. I recommend if you know what medications you take, you're good, but if you don't, write it down on a piece of paper. Write down the names and dosages, and then same thing with having a few emergency contacts, like loved ones, your work, anyone that you want to be able to call while you're in a psych ward, write it down on the same piece of paper and have the phone numbers ready. You're not gonna have your cell phone during your psych ward stay. There are rare exceptions, but for the most part, they're not. In the common rooms, there are landlines that you can call people. So if you have a list of phone numbers written down, you can ask a technician or a nurse to go look for it so that you can call people while you're staying there. Another thing is if you have dogs or cats, pets at home, you're gonna wanna make sure that they're being taken care of for an indefinite amount of time. You don't know how long you're going to be there. It really just depends on what the doctors say. It's typically a few days, but it can be longer.